Hi there and welcome to the Year 10 2022 Subject Selection Information video. My name's Chris Bringen and I'll be just taking you through some of the key steps you need to follow in order to make a successful uh, subject selection for Year 10 next year. Uh, one of the first things I'd like to uh, direct you to will be the Curriculum Guide information. Now the Curriculum Guide is located in Parent Lounge and Student Cafe. Once you go into your Parent Lounge, if you scroll across the top here to School Links, and then follow it down and go to curriculum. Uh, once you get to, to this area, you should be able to navigate fairly easily to find the Year 10 2022 Curriculum Guide. Uh, if you open it up, front page should look something like this cover that I've put a uh, photo on there. Once you get inside that document, uh, you'll find every subject listed that Year 10s will be offered for next year. Uh, there's English, Math, Science, and then a whole range of elective subjects. All of the subjects are broken down, uh, like this one example on the screen here. You can see the heading, there's drama. We've got it's an elective subject and it's year long. Uh, and there's a whole list, list of information there that uh, just helps to students to understand what the subject's about, uh, what some of the things they're gonna be doing in that subject, and even how students are gonna be assessed. Um, so that's also key information in, in for students when they're picking some of these subjects. So, Please make sure you read through this document carefully. There's lots of handy information there, especially if students have got questions about, well, I've never really done that subject before. What's it like? This is a good little tool to help them make those decisions. Uh, all right, so year 10 next year, we'll be having three core subjects. That's maths, English, and science, uh, followed by they have also three electives to choose. The electives can range from anything. There's a whole list there you can see on the screen, visual art, media, drama, digital technology, uh, aspiring athletes, design. Uh, there's so many options there. What students will need to do is pick three of those as their electives. When they're choosing, they will also be asked to choose two reserves. Please make sure these are something that students really want to study as well. Don't just pick them as a, oh, well, they're just my reserves, it doesn't matter. Reserves do matter. Sometimes we do uh, have to cancel a class, whether it's full, um, maybe it's not running, and we then need to look at reserve options. So please make sure reserves are carefully considered as well. And preferences also matter too. So the order that you put things in, if you're a student that's really wanted to study a certain subject like German in year 10, you really want that pathway for senior, please put German as your top elective that you'd like to study. So preference of your, of your electives really does matter. Can't stress that enough. Um, Okay, so how do you get on to selecting your subjects? First thing you're going to look for is an email. Students will have received an email saying, uh, it's, I think it's from no reply at select my subjects. So tell them to look for that email. Um, that email uh, has the following page in it. And what they do, if they just scroll down through, there's a link straight there, which should take them right to where they need to go. All right, there's manual instructions there as well, but um, from all reports, I know that this link does work very well. So you just click on that link, um, and that should take you through to a screen that looks like this. All right, once students get into this, they just follow through uh, the instructions. Again, all the instructions there, what they need to choose, how many electives, blah, blah, blah. That's all there written down. You can read through that yourself. Um, and then what they do is they get down to the actual selection part. So what they have to do here is go, yes, I want to do English, maths, all right, so general or advanced maths, whatever they're choosing there. Science, they choose their science, and then they go through and they can choose their electives. Now, you might have noticed when I was clicking on some of those, for example, if I put film and television, this little icon over here goes blue with a you know, little information circle. So what you need is just click on that. That just, again, it's just that little snapshot of information about what the unit's actually about. So students can read up on that. Uh, and see what they're actually going to be doing, if they've got any questions or if they're not sure about what a subject has. Um, they can go through and do their selection. I'll just click on a couple here. You can see, and then go down to my reserves. And I'm going to pop these ones in. All right, and once it's all blue, this little button down the bottom goes green to say proceed. Once you have entered in all your subjects, hit the proceed button. Students will be asked to sign this on screen. So it gives me a little list to show. All right, these are my subjects right here that I've just chosen and my two reserve options. Then what I'm going to do is just sign it. All right, whoop. 
and press save signature. Now at this point, students must put in their parent guardian email address. What's going to happen next? By putting in the parent email address, like I'll put my own in, I'm not gonna put my mum in, but I'll put my own in there. If I put in my parent email address, what's gonna happen next is this is going to send an email asking me to sign what my student has chosen. Uh, all that's doing is just recognizing that, yep, my student's chosen these subjects and I am aware of it. Um, so all the parent has to do is just sign, they do the same thing, just an electronic signature on the screen, sign that and submit that signature and that then records it to say that it has been uh, verified by a parent. Uh, so all that is the whole process. That's, that's how you select your subjects. Now the due date for these subjects is Friday the 20th of August uh, by three o'clock, that's two and a half weeks from the uh, from the subject selection night. Students can change their subject preferences up to 20 times. So once you've done your subject choices, you can resubmit, resubmit. If you change your mind two weeks down the track, you to decide you really don't wanna do that subject, you wanna do this one instead, you can change your preferences up to 20 times. So plenty of options there to change subjects. Um, look, if you do have any problems, please contact our curriculum office and look, uh, Thanks for listening. I hope you, I look forward to seeing all the uh, subject selections come through in the next few weeks. Thanks very much.